This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at how we can generate text captions, basically the closed captions for one of my YouTube videos using automatic speech recognition from Hugging Face. Okay, so Hugging Face Transformers has uh, implementations of Wave 2 Vec 2.0 speech to text models so these models are from meta okay so let's see how can we actually you know generate captions for this youtube video in python okay making use of some python libraries like pytube to download the youtube video and some audio libraries like pydub and librosa to do some audio processing and then using the hugging face transformers wave 2 vec models let's generate the captions okay so let's go to the demo okay so what i do is that first i import basically pytube okay uh, this is where is my audio path this is the link to that particular image and file basically this video right uh, for this video okay now we'll try to create a pi youtube object for this particular link okay then let's see the streams okay for this particular video so basically okay so it says these are the various streams which are available and if you look at this stream 139 it is for audio and it is an mp4 file okay so let's now get that stream and let's download that file okay so now it downloads this file and it creates this file okay so now this is downloaded okay this video is basically downloaded over here into my system into c drive now let's this is in mp4 format we need to convert it into wave format okay because these wave 2 vec models accept wave format okay so for that what i use is i use pydub and from pydub i need to import audio segment then i convert this mp4 to wave right first i read the mp4 file this is the audio file and then i convert it to wave format okay so this conversion takes some time and once this conversion is done what i now import is librosa and sound uh, file okay this is done because you know this particular audio wave file has the sampling rate over here as 48 kpbs what we require for our models is 16000 as the sampling rate okay so we need to convert this so for that we use librosa resample we read the sound file and then we convert it okay so this conversion is what is happening now so let's wait for the conversion to get over now the conversion is over so i am writing it back right i am saving it back so basically this is the converted file with 16000 as the sampling rate currently okay now let's load our wave to vec models okay so now i am instantiating the tokenizer and model as wave to vec so wave to vec tokenizer and wave to vec model okay so this is the instantiation process it takes a little bit of time let's wait for it it is done all right now what we need to do is that see this file is a three minutes file right so this is a three minutes video okay so this being a three minutes video we need to break it into smaller chunks otherwise it will run out of memory so that is what is happening over here i am creating a st stream over here whereby i am creating stream of five seconds length audio okay so that is what is done over here right now the stream is created now let's go to our model to convert this speech or audio to text okay so that is the process which is done over here so it is given to the tokenizer then to the model and from the model we get the logits we do an argmax and we decode the predicted ids okay using the tokenizer and that's how we get our transcription 
Now let's look at our transcription. See, it starts transcribing over here. In this video, let's look at Imagine, a new AI system from Google Brain. I have created this video so, now I, uh, so I know the text and I can read it. But otherwise, you see there are lots of errors over here in this speech to text conversion. This could be because of my accent. This could be that maybe this model needs to be fine tuned on my speech to give better results. Okay, but it still does a decent job. And the model over here is that we have used the wave to wick large. Okay, as the model over here. And if you see over here, it is actually still doing the transcription. And this is like I've split the video, a three minutes video into length of five seconds, not 30 seconds, five second chunks. Okay, instead of loading the whole file because otherwise it runs out of memory. Okay. So it is able to generate some of the tokens properly, but for example, like this generated example image, some of the words are coming out properly, but some of the other things are coming out in a bit of a junk. Okay, for example, this was golden beak arguing with an angry turtle in a forest. So some of the text is actually captured, um, you know, speech is converted to text properly, but then some of them goes for a toss, All right? So this is with the uh, this particular model, okay, where we have, uh, uh, you know, this is the large model, all right, wave to wick. Now, if we were to go to the smaller model, yeah, it has done the transcription of the entire three minutes of uh, video, okay. Now, if you go to the, let's go to the smaller model and the base model and again, try it. So, let's again instantiate the base model. Let's wait for it to complete. So, the instantiation is happening. Okay, it is instantiated. Now let's try predicting over here. Okay, sometimes this doesn't work. I don't know the reason for this, but what I've seen is that probably again, I have to create this text stream and then come back to this. Yeah, it works now. Okay, so here you see in this video has become video, imagine has become imagine, new AI system has become air, Google brain has become like Google brain. So some of the words are still not uh, detected properly, but some words like super resolution, uh, increasing the resolution, right? Uh, decoder becomes a deficient model over here, things like that. Okay, so it is able to actually generate the captions. So what I have I demonstrated over here, so I have demonstrated how you can download a YouTube video, right, by having the link using PyTube, how you can convert that, uh, how you can actually uh, specifically get the audio file separately if you want, right, and how you can download the audio file, then how do you convert the audio file to a WAV file using PyDub, then from that WAV file, how do you resample it using Librosa, right? Then how do you instantiate a wave to vec tokenizer and a wave to vec model in using Hugging Face Transformers, right? Then how do you actually break that long audio into smaller chunks using Librosa stream, right? Then for each of the smaller chunk, how do you actually do a speech to text conversion? So that is what I have demonstrated over here in this video. I hope you like this video. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. I'll put this code on GitHub. I'll also put links to all the various libraries and resources I have used for creating this example. See you in another video. Happy learning.